Uh, hello everyone this is Satvik and this video I'll show you how you can decrypt all your SSL traffic using uh, using SSL keylog file environment variable which is available on Windows, Mac and Linux. So why you want to decrypt an SSL traffic is pretty simple so if you take uh, if, if you anytime view the traffic in Wireshark of HTTPS or some other protocols which uses TLS or SSL then there's a potential chance that it's all gibberish and you can't do anything like that. So if you think of an attacker perspective or as a defender perspective, uh, able to decrypt all the traffic is going to be pretty useful and also helpful, uh, whether analyzing the logs or being an attacker and viewing all the you know uh, transactions that are being made. So this article gives you a good info about that. I'll leave the link for this in the description below. So before that, uh, let me tell you what this SSL session key is. So once you're connecting to a server, so using using the public key cryptography, you transfer a shared key between the client and the server. And then the same shared, shared key is going to be used for the encryption and decryption part. So this SSL key log file environment variable just gets all those secret secrets that are being transferred between the client and the server. So I'll show this uh, demonstration on uh, my Linux machine. So let's show you that. So you just need to create an environment variable export SSL keylog file. And so once after exporting your SSL keylog file, just uh, re-verify it by running an env command just to view all the environment variables. And you can see it is there here. And as mentioned here, you need to run this in the same session because this environment variable is like a a normal temporary kind of one but you could actually uh, write it into the bash rc file and make it system wide so that's a possible thing but yeah uh, just for the time being we'll just run it here so i have a google chrome so i'm just running that and let me open a few websites cube.com Uh, so just something like this it's not mine but yeah oh let me type my channel name so yeah you can see uh, i did just did a basic search and if i do an ls now you can see there is an ssl keylog file if i do a cat uh, ssl keylog file you can see all the secrets uh, between the client and the server that are being used so now what we will do right now is let's start a packet capture using wireshark so uh, i'll open a new tab uh, i'll run it with sudo wireshark uh -huh. so now we have wireshark and i'm doing this over eth0 because that's the basic uh, that's a default interface that all my traffic goes through and now if i search for something like this again you should be able to see all the traffic again and let's navigate to a few other websites uh, let's try some basic test users test password so login it won't work but yeah it's fine so that being said let's uh, end this session for the time being and also st stop the packet capture now if you see it's there is a lot of tls traffic which is obviously https traffic but in order to view this one thing you should do is like you need to go to the file uh, sorry uh, edit preferences and then in the protocols you need to look for the tls sorry <clears throat> yeah tls and then you need to load the pre-shared uh, file so just browse this and just select the file uh, which which is being exported and click on ok now you can see it's all tcp traffic you can just go and search for http and now you can see all the things that are in http which are previously not uh, now i just added a filter of http2 and you can see this is all this is the traffic related to reddit uh, but if you don't if you don't load this ssl keylog file then you may not be able, you will not be able to see all this traffic so you know going through each one of them it's not too straightforward kind of thing but you need to just go through each of them because you can see the headers in which you can see the get request or post request so going through all these things 
as an analyst or even as an attacker you should be able to gain some valuable info like for example i'm able to see some headers this is probably a jwt secret or something like that which as an attacker i can just possibly use it and hijack a session but uh, yeah but anyways even for uh, the defender perspective as well if there is an attack where you need to uh, investigate some kind of an incident response activity or event then having a traffic which is decrypted is much useful for you because it'll give you a lot of uh, hints on what actually happened and stuff like that. So this is a cool thing. So that being said, uh, this is it guys. And also this is not only the thing you can actually go to, uh, you can actually do this on windows too so windows and mac as well so we just need to create an environment variable and that's it you'll see all your ssl keylog files of every traffic that your windows is sending and using that you can decrypt all the traffic and same goes for the mac too so that being said i hope this video is helpful and also there are so many wireshark filters uh, again you can use them like for example contains and stuff like that and you can actually view that so that being said uh that is it guys for today's video uh i hope you enjoyed this and i'm planning to start a live cv hunting streams on my channel so i'll let you know how things are going to be done and that being said thank you for watching this video till the end this is satvik signing off i'll meet you in the next one thank you take care